Mary Reese, the Director of Special Projects at the New Jersey Principals and Supervisors Association and its Foundation for Educational Administration. Today, once again, I welcome James Strong. James originally came to us a few years ago when he spoke at our fall conference on two of his books, uh, Qualities of Effective Teachers and Qualities of Effective Principals. He is the Heritage Professor of Educational Policy, Planning, and Leadership at the College of William & Mary. Today, I would like to ask him about uh, why New Jersey educators should select his model for teacher and principal evaluation. Well, thank you, Mary, for the opportunity to be back at the New Jersey PSA. I always enjoy my visits here and the opportunity to work with New Jersey teachers and leaders um, and value what you're doing. This is an exciting time to be in education with many reforms that are occurring. Um, we could look at it negatively, but I think it's an opportunity to take what we know works well, that we've always been doing well, and build on that so that we improve the quality of the educational programs that we offer to our children. At the end of the day, what I think is most important is that we improve teaching, leading, and learning. That's what our business is. So let me give you some reasons why I think you should select my system. And I'll begin uh, with a preface in that I don't want New Jersey educators to select my system uh, at the expense of other systems. There are other good systems available. Uh, I want school districts to select my system because they believe that it is best for them. So with that frame of reference, let me give you 10 reasons. Number one, I would say is the starting point for me my evaluation system for teachers, for principals, superintendents, counselors, for the whole array of professional educators that walk through the schoolhouse door on any given day is solidly research-based. I've been working on this for a long time. I didn't begin by creating rubrics. I didn't begin by creating uh, performance frameworks. I began by doing the research on what makes a good teacher, what makes a good principal, what's the impact of a principal, what's the impact of a teacher, on learning and then use that foundation to move into what should be the standards for a teacher. We have to be able, number one, to define what is good teaching and that's the first selling point for me. There's a solid empirical base around the performance standards for my te teacher system, my principal system, and uh, all along the line. Uh, point number two and I'll, I'll be pretty literal in, in going through uh, the 10 points. Point number two, uh, my system is practical. I think practicality is a vital concern for busy educators. I don't believe we should shortcut um, instructional leadership or performance evaluation at all, but it has to be reasonable in understanding the busy lives and what's occurring in a school. A number of years ago, I worked on evaluation systems that had uh, far more performance standards for teachers, around 20 in fact, and with many states and organizations in the U.S. and uh, across the world, I've come to embrace uh, rather emphatically a more simplistic design that has seven standards. Six performance standards for, that are process-based, that is how I do my job, and one standard that is outcomes-based, the results of my doing my job. So I think it's practical. Uh, number three, I think it's important that you have a system that's well-developed, field-tested. New Jersey educators do not need a system where we're experimenting with them. I've worked with, for many years, in many organizations, large and some of them uh, the, among the largest school districts in America, uh, as well as very small districts, in field-testing and learning lessons the hard way from what works, what doesn't work, and improving the craft of evaluation. So what I'm bringing to New Jersey uh, has been solidly practiced. Just one ex uh, example. In the teacher system there are four um, student surveys, primary, intermediate, middle school, and high school levels. Uh, they have been piloted in many places. We've checked, checked for readability. Uh, we've checked for content validity. That's the kind of practicality that I and field testing that I think is important. Uh, point number four, it include, my system includes measures of student progress, and I want to be very clear that adding a measure of student progress is not a recent add-on in my thinking. 
I began work with this a number of years ago in actually conducting empirical studies, um, observing teachers, analyzing data through a variety of analyses, and determining what is the connection between an effective teacher and student performance, and what are the behaviors of teachers that yield that higher student achievement. So fundamental to my thinking is including appropriate measures of student performance. I think our system provides some of the best material and best supportive training for using student learning objectives. For example, we've worked in many states uh, and uh, outside of the U.S. in designing. We have a library of SMART goals that we use that's available as part of the package. We have a new set of guidelines, a guidebook on step-by-step -step how to implement SMART goals as part of multiple measures of, of student progress. Uh, another reason, number five, to use the system is that it includes all the relevant tools and techniques that you need. Not only will we provide a fully completed camera-ready evaluation handbook for teacher, the teacher system, we'll do the same for principal evaluation for the specialist positions, uh, for superintendent evaluation for districts who choose to include that, all within the same price package. Uh, and, and beyond the handbook, we provide just a wide array of training materials. Uh, to illustrate on this point, we will provide training options where our team, in conjunction with the New Jersey PSA, will, uh, will provide training for the, the teacher component. But we also provide the materials that if the local school district chooses to, to deliver that themselves, they have everything they need to deliver that full system. Uh, so there is, we will provide research briefs. Everything that you can imagine that you would want comes as part of the package. Uh, point number six is that it's a uniform system. I've already alluded to this in saying that we have the teacher system. We also have the principal system. I've been working with principal evaluation for quite a long time. Um, you may be familiar with my ASCD book, Qualities of Effective Principals. I have a book similar to that for teachers, Qualities of Effective Teachers, and a number of books with Ion Education and ASCD on teacher and leader effectiveness. I have a new book that will be published in uh, the spring of 2013 on principal evaluation, published with ASCD. It's that kind of background um, material that I think is, is very helpful in creating a uniform system. We have common terminology across all those systems, the principal, teachers, specialists, superintendents, unique performance standards, uh, various ways of collecting data for those positions, but common terminology, common design, so it isn't four systems or more than that, it's one single uniform evaluation system. And I think that's very important. Uh, the seventh point that I would offer is that uh, the system does include the handbooks that I mentioned a moment ago with every form already embedded in the handbook. Uh, we will provide it electronically so the district can print it if it chooses. It can make it available electronically. And it also, the district will have the capacity to make subtle tweaks to the system. Uh, for example, we offer, I think we include four observation forms. We don't want a single district to use all four forms. We want you to have some selection from among those. And if you want to subtly craft a little bit on the observation form, as long as you remain faithful to the performance standards, we're happy to work with you and help you do that. Uh, point number eight is that we do include the implementation materials beyond the initial uh, orientation and beyond just the technical use of the system. There will be a great deal of material for uh, student learning objectives, as I mentioned. There will be material for uh, building inter-rater reliability. We will provide additional support for that, which leads into point number nine, professional development. Big reforms such as this tend to rise or fall more on the fidelity of implementation than on the technical design. You have to have the technical design right first, and I believe we have it right. It is squarely built on good research. It has been field tested extensively. But even if we bring to you a quality system, you have to implement it with fidelity. And the training that we provide 
encourages, virtually requires that. There's initial training that all administrators will receive of two days. Then there's follow-up training a few months later that is purposefully designed to be follow-up on inter-rater reliability. We will also have available an electronic online um, validation system for evaluators. And then with our partner, with, we, with you, Mary, uh, New Jersey PSA, we provide training for teachers. Uh, and beyond that, we will provide, we will be providing ongoing support and workshops in the area such as instructional leadership, how to work with uh, data assessment, uh, how to help teachers who are working in a variety of areas improve the quality of their work. And then a final reason that I would offer is the partnership that I've created to bring this to New Jersey, and two in particular. One, um, I've mentioned twice at least already, and that is with the New Jersey PSA. Uh, your organization is uh, a key partner with me in the training modules. We've co-trained, we co-support, we're here on the ground, and we're going to be here for the future to support systems. We aren't going to sell a system and leave. We're going to be here. And secondly, my partnership with my learning plan, OASIS. That's the electronic management information system that I've selected. I investigated a number of options. Uh, this is the most cost effective. It provides to me among the highest quality uh, characteristics and deliverables that you would want in an electronic management information system. And beyond the teacher leader evaluation system, we will be bringing new products such as a hiring protocol for teachers and leaders that are directly related to my work on qualities of effective teachers and qualities of effective principals. So I think it's a very comprehensive system. I think there are many good reasons to select it. I think there are other good systems. Um, I'm not biased in the least. I think my system is best. <laughs> and of course I hope that New Jersey school districts will give it serious consideration and select it and give us the opportunity uh, to work with them. Those are very compelling reasons for uh, a district to consider implementing both your teacher and principal evaluation systems, James. I really thank you very much for delineating all these points. Uh, we at NJPSA and FEA spent months looking at the various models that are available and were um, listed with our Department of Education. And after careful study, we decided that your plan was the one that we very much wanted to support. We liked the professional learning that you stressed, as well as the link between teacher evaluation, principal evaluation, and superintendent evaluation. So we're really happy we have this partnership with you, and um, we hope that our members will seriously look at um, both your models that um, we presented here today. And certainly if you have any questions to our members, please contact us at NJPSA and FEA, or contact James at the College of William & Mary. Thank you very much.